Give me one second, guys. I'm getting this all loaded back up, okay? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, the stream should be back up now. Stream is up. Now the question is, will your game reliably start? Oh, game will be fine. It's been so bad for me. But usually a reboot is enough to fix it. Be right back. Oh, hey, there we go. We are back, and I am looking at the stream, and hello, hello. Dude, I'm like the post office. Rain, or sleet, or shine. I will be here. Well, except for a heart attack. I, you know, I hate to say this, guys, but yeah. That is one thing that will definitely keep me away. <laughs> wow, that was just insane. Yeah, totally. And that's our story, and we're sticking to it. And oh, 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 oh. And the giveaway is still going. Giveaway is almost up, so make sure you guys enter to win that, or did it already end? It is still going, so exclamation mark raffle, you went in on that game, okay? I was communicating to you guys with my cell phone. So yeah, hi. I am dedicated to my followers. Okay, let's try this again. Do I have connection? I do. I am good. Good and tight. I forgot I gotta get WhatsApp up just in case my wife messages me. There we go. Okay, now everything is back to normal like it should be. We got that, Dario. Also, for uh, those of you who aren't familiar with the Discord, make sure you join the Discord that I link in here. Because that's where I post all the updates on things that are going on with the stream. If anything happens or I'm not able to stream, there is a channel on there named Serapis. So if you post, if you check that channel, there'll be updates on there if I'm not streaming or something what's going on. So it'll always be in that channel on that Discord, okay? So make sure you guys do join that, that channel for updates. Oh no, I lost my creepy birdie. Well, that's not good.
I meant to cut that, not copy that. Bixie, I am doing well. How are you doing? Oh, if you fly, you may like one of my U2s that I intimately drop to people in-game. Okay, wait, U2? I'm confused. I don't remember no U2. U2s are the, uh, one of those experimental aircraft, I think, or something. I wonder if that's one of the blueprints I lost. Yep, that was. I had lost a lot of blueprints due to the glitch they had. I got all of mine back because I remembered the names, but the ones I couldn't remember the names of, I didn't get back. So it's got to be one of the ones that I lost. I lost a lot of blueprints because of that. Huh, I'm thinking no. I think I'm going to go sleek. I want to go really clean and low profile with this one. That would be amazing, dude. That'd be awesome. I am big on collecting other people's designs and stuff. It's, uh, uh, eventually, I will have this entire area full of other people's designs. And also, if you want to bring one here and put a kiosk up to sell them, you're welcome to, too. That's what the bottom slots are reserved for. If it helps generate a little revenue for a friend, I am all for it. Hey, Grabby. I I don't know what it's going to be. I'm building something sleek. And something smexy. 
but at least I think it's Mexi. I hope it's Mexi. You gotta follow your doctor's orders. Don't don't make it too Smexy. You know, technically speaking, you do make a valid point, but... I love all the, uh, the Elon Musk memes coming out, because he's going to be hosting SNL. <laughs> oh, my lord, really? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for it. Oh, a crow! Thank you for the sub, man. Thank you so very much. What sort of what? H T O T F. Okay, my brain's doing weird things because my brain wants to pick out all the capitals. But if I do, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm using more than three brain cells. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. His, his Twitter's hilarious. My power came back on quickly tonight. That's always a winner. You see this extra filter right here? This filter is for you guys. It's between my microphone and my air conditioner. And digital, let me know how you like the train, man. I hope it flies well for you. Oh. I gotta pick the winner. Meager, you won the first game, bud. Meager. He's not here to say rigged. I know. There it is. Okay, there's the channels. <clears throat> <laughs> there you go. Fior did it good. Him. Rick. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. It made it. It made it. Rick. I will send you the claim link for that, bud. Okay, please make sure you claim the game within one week so it drops out of the anonymous donors thing in Bob. Okay. What should I do? It's a link. You have to claim the game. Humble bundle. Yeah. You have to claim it within a week. There you go. Dum bum dum. -dum. 
Sometimes I really hate this gun. It's in the way. We need to start a petition with uh, NQ. Take away the gun and give us back to the Jedi hands. I'm, I'm for that. I also want to see like a massive like mining drill that you can just put on a ship. Just Take for, that up. Just for right now, for playability. Oh yeah. I absolutely hate the flipping gun. It sticks out way too far and it is in the way. Did you change your field of view? Uh, yeah, I have to go back to narrower because I'm on a smaller screen again. I just noticed, like, my gun is not... It's bigger, but it's way more off to the side. Yeah, That's um... She said. Oh, yeah. I can I change can... my field of view out, but it's still in the way. Or I can... I mean, you can always go way down. But that just really irritates me. Typically, I sit around a hundred. <laughs> oh, resource! What's up, buddy? Howdy. Howdy, howdy, and welcome to the stream. I'm making something new. You are? Yep. Sure it is. Sure it is. It's not going to be compactable, though. Well, I mean, I guess I could make it compactable. It would be easier to make. There we go, get rid of that stinking blinking yellow. Blah. Whew. Okay, now the stream is going again. How is everybody tonight? I do hope y'all are all doing really good. I mean, I, I know I was gone there for a few days. I hope I didn't miss anything important. I always feel like I missed something. You did three days. I know that, but I mean, did I miss anything important with anybody? Oh no. And it's not like I chose to miss it, it just kind of happened. Sometimes it does. It happens. You know, it's kind of like sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Is that how that works? That's what I was told anyway. Oh, okay. You uh, gonna get anything over for the flyover tomorrow? No, I am not going to this spaceport. I wish I could, but every time I go over there, my ship, my, my computer crashes. And I am running out of small parts. Say it ain't so, boss. If there's anybody willing to go to the market or has some small parts, I need some, please. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream, biggin.
Okay, if there is anybody willing to go pick up a few things for me from the market, I will pay you a delivery fee. No jokes, I will pay extra money. You, what do you need? I need small, the main thing I need is small atmospheric brakes and small adjusters. Send me a list in Discord. Just make them in the nano crafter. That would require the resources and knowing where all that crap was. Send me a list on Discord. I'm going to market six anyway. Wow, that's a lot. Whatever you can grab, I go through them. Bruce, thanks for the host, buddy. Hey, what what is up, man? How are you doing tonight? I do hope you're having a good night, Bruce. I go through a lot of them. I guess. So in the last three weeks, I did uh, three ships for uh, Captain's Customs. Three ships? Yep. Hey, I thought he designed his own ships. Uh, it's Captain's Customs is actually um, a group of designers. And they uh, there's a bit of collaboration that goes on there. Um and so there are three ships that one is the megalodon which was released uh two weeks ago um one that has not been released yet because uh, it's still getting the finishing touches called the triumph which will be really cool and the newest one which i think is he i think miller said is being released today which is a uh, pvp armored prowler uh, it has uh, it's mostly iron and um copper for the armor and okay. then it has uh, gold uh, secure rooms for to protect the uh, pilot and gunners Interesting. And, and core and all that yep yeah. very interesting uh, it also has about 60 more adjusters on it and it has about uh, it has two more XL space engines so it's got a good bit more oomph than the uh, the traditional prowler okay and man I I fell in love with that ship it's super super nice so I got, I got one for myself okay sounds like a really nice ship I will yeah I'm gonna see if I can uh, fly it over to your castle and show it, show it to you uh, of course you are always welcome to bring the ship by What's going on with the the captain's customs and their their art? I heard there was like a little bit of a uh, drama. Um, essentially, captain's customs um, became uh, they became sort of their own big entity, um, and that sort of conflicted with what uh, they wanted to do within Zenith sort of like was diluting the uh, I don't know the the direction or the whatever okay. so it was just it just really they just Captain's Customs grew up got to be he got to be big and and they just needed to separate to have their own space and do what they wanted to do so mm, that makes sense it's sort of the you know, there's a lot of, there, there, you know, you can dig into the this and that and the other, but really when it comes down to it, it's just Captain's Customs is just a dominant force, and, and that doesn't fit real well within an organization that's also trying to be a dominant force, right? Stuck between a rock and a hard place. No, I, I've heard a lot of, like, corps are, because, like, so many people have, like, come and gone and come back, 
and they realize that half their org's gone, so they find a new one. It's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, I've been having a lot of friends that are either leaving the game or returning to the game, and then when they return to the game, they realize that the group they used to play with really isn't the group they they played with anymore. It's it's an entirely new set of animals, new set of things, and the group has grown in the game while they weren't there to grow with the group. So they're kind of like still, you know, even even though they might have played some, they're still feeling kind of nubbish. While the group is moved on, learned, and adapted, so they don't feel like they're at, they don't feel like they have a place in the same organization. Right, and and the bigger the orgs get, like the less attention you actually get, as a well, mo you know, I am friends with with people in both Zenith and in Captain's Customs, and honestly, they're just, you know, they, they just grew apart. They both grew up and grew apart, and you know, mommy, daddy don't love each other anymore, and that's really all it comes down to. Um, they're both, they're still both a bunch of great guys, and. I, you know, I think they're going to do well separate. Daddy needs a 20-something-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> Live life, like, you know? Have fun. Okay, let's well, this. and then... Uh, now, some of the guys that were in Captain's Customs and some of the people that were in Zenith and some of the people from other places went and uh, they were real heavy into PvP. And um, lately there's been less and less PvP content because everybody's on the same side. So they went and, and uh, they're using their deep pockets from, you know, having ties with Captain's Customs to uh, or to go start their own org called Rival that's just there to make PvP content. So. Mm -hmm. they, oh. can afford, they can afford to take the losses and they're going to have fun and they're going to provide fun for other people so it's overall it's good for the game. Yeah. You need to tell Silva that from Boo. That'll make her happy. A lot of people from Boo disappeared. I know, because there wasn't anybody really to PvP, so... They weren't getting the content. And you have to appreciate that. Well, yeah, from, my, from what I understand, if Boo comes back and they're a significant uh, adversary for AC again, uh, Rival will come in and, and be third party and dunk on whoever's... Uh, whoever's getting beaten. Mm. So they'll just they'll just play the, the third party role. So they're gonna be like Dune Storm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not really. More like um, Pandemic Legion was. I could see that. back in the day. I about to say yeah, back in the day maybe. But yeah. Because that is not the PL of today. Oh, no, I'm talking about, you know, old school PL. And, and what was it? Black, uh, Black, what was it? Legion? No, what was it? Uh -huh. It was Black Legion. Remember Black Legion sort of did that third party thing for a while? I had a lot of friends in Black Legion back in the day during that. And, oh, they were definitely what you would call vicious. They had a reputation, and that reputation was founded on legitimate fear. Everybody was afraid of that group for a long time. A lot of people, you know, have crazy ideas for DU, but really, like, what we need is a nerf warping and to have more than just Alioth be, like, the main central point for a market. Cause if you're not, if you don't have people hauling stuff, there's just no, uh, there's no bait for PVPers. They really do not need to nerf warping. 
because they need to make it so that if you don't want to be involved in PvP, you can pay to you can pay extra to stay out of it. Because if you make everybody have to be involved in PvP, then you will lose a lot of people that don't want anything to do with that. I actually mentioned... I mean, the warp is just so easy and cheap. I get the feeling there's going to be situations coming up to where there will... I mean, they've already said there's going to be interdiction. So we know that's coming. We definitely know that's coming. It's just a matter of when. You want small adjusters or extra small? Small. And... I think they're the small brakes, or is it the extra small? I don't know what they are. Hold on. Small brakes. Atmosphere brakes. And shoot me a DM with what I owe yes. Okay. Billions. Billions. Oh, I hope it's less than a mil uh, 7 million, because that's what I got on me at the moment. Uh, depends on where you are in the game. Warp can be very cheap for some people, and it can also be very expensive for some people. depends on what you're utilizing and work for and yeah I mean it's it really depends on how far you are in the game so for a beginner warping is pretty expensive but at the end you don't care about uh, ten, um, the 10k per warp set anymore oh by the way if you're in stream since we got 20 people on that tonight just a reminder, we do are having a sale tonight on all tokenized ships. They are 20% off. You can no longer enter the rift. Oh, yeah, I, I, I agree the space speed limit needs to go away too. Because it's just... There's, um, there's to work around it. Well, you know, the, it, the problem all, with the speed limit is the speed limit's also there to protect the game itself. Because when you start having things in a game move beyond a certain point and speed, and it, and when it causes interactions, it actually becomes more detrimental to the server. I mean, you got to think about it from the server's perspective. If you have two people moving at like a hundred thousand kilometers an hour, the way that interaction is going to be is going to be really difficult for the server to handle due to latency. Yeah, yeah, I see that. The, the desync there. But there's there's easy ways to work around it and exploit it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay, all these shots, all these ships out here, the uh, tokenized ships are all 20% off tonight. So that means the Mantas instead of 25 or 20. The Viper Mark IIs instead of 20 are 16. And... The switchblades and the spirits are 10 instead of 12. So, if you're interested in one of them, come out to the castle tonight and pick one up. I'm trying to clear out the stock so I can afford to get more parts to build with and get, do stuff for giveaways. Yeah, honestly, I think a 50k limit would be good. A 50k limit for what? 50,000 kilometers an hour instead of 30. Oh man. I just want to warp drive XS. <laughs> Put that on an XS core and just warp for like one cell. Just want large wings. Amen to that. Large wings and extra large atmospheric engines.
making me go to more than one market. Sheesh. What? For adjusters? I had to go to a, yeah, I had to go to a second market. Nah. Oh crap, I'm sorry about that. It's alright. Say it ain't so, Timmy. Say it ain't so. Hello Kitty Online, are you serious? I am not even going to entertain that suggestion. And I am going to block it from my memory. Hello Kitty Online, oh my god. <laughs> Come on, this sounds like a plan. Any of your uh, viewers are the... Uh person who built the zombie land tower in giant ramp to market 16 i want to smack you <laughs> that bad huh hey, haven't you seen the it's a giant tower and they built a giant ramp uh all the way from their tower up to the uh market I must admit I have not seen it. This is because you keep making other people do your shopping for you. I will not argue with this fact. Zerus, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. I do believe I said that right. Zerus. Please tell me I said that right, Zerus. I don't want to look like a complete and total idiot. Or is it too late for that? Way too late. You see how they treat me, man. Hey, we just got finished with one giveaway. We're going to be doing another one here soon, okay? And the winner for that one is... Let's see who won, who won, who won. Fjord! Okay, Fjord, that marks your two drink max, bud. Ah, Fjord face is totally cheating. That guy wins more than, than Mike Mike. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. But yeah, definitely, guys. Make sure you get in on the uh, ship sale we got going on tonight. That's how I fund. Trying to sell those ships is how I fund the giveaways and get things going in the stream. So, bye, bye, bye. Does Linear make advanced space engines? Uh, no. Oh, well, he might. I don't know. 
I don't keep up with that stuff. <laughs> Shop smart, shop syrup is smart. Yes, bruise, bruise. We're doing all the ships for twenty percent off for the tokenized for the night, bud. Any ship on the showroom floor that's tokenized, you can get for twenty percent off. I'm trying to move some ships so I can afford to build some more stuff. Because yeah, that's what I like to do. Build things. I like to build things that make you look at it and go, hmm. Well, that's a lot of money. Timber frame or I Fjord, I saw somebody do it. Oh <laughs> gotcha. But yeah, that's my DU creators page and all the ships are up there. So the ships that I have here are the Manta, Viper Mark II, Switchblade, and Spirit. You can knock 20% off any of those prices for tokenized ships. And come by during the stream and pick it up. You don't have your Manta up there, do you? Yeah, there's five Mantas up there. Well, should be picking that ship up. That's a good ship. Oh, it's 20 mil if you buy one tonight. Tokenized with all level 5 boost. You ain't, it even comes with fuel. All you gotta do is hop in the pilot seat and fly. Is there a reason you use M containers instead of L containers? On what? On the Manta? Uh, yes. They were smaller. They're actually they're a slight a bit slight smaller bit. than the largest. No, if you use two of them. No, they're actually a slight bit smaller. Oh, I'll show you. Yep. Things I don't pay attention to. Uh, so here's a large. Now the small, the mediums, well they don't look it. You see that bridge sticking up off the top of the large? Okay, I see. That's, to me, that's the same size. Yes, technically it is, but when you're building a ship in really tight proportions, you don't want crap sticking out. It's the same amount of cargo, and I don't have that lip sticking out the top. Stick. So that's the reason why I use mediums. Aesthetic reasons. Well, I think you need to embrace the large and get a handle on it. So, resource, you like the new uh, special edition uh, pocket viper I'm giving away tonight? Ew, it's cool. You know what? How about we go ahead and give that away now? We got it's 20 cool. people in the stream. Let's give away the special edition pocket viper. Okay, guys, so I'm about to be putting up another one. This is for this Pocket Viper. It is a one-of-a-kind special edition. So make sure you guys enter to win that. Everybody is welcome to enter to win this one. Even Fjord, everybody's welcome to enter this one. Oh, dang it. Oh, wait. Not Fjord. This is rigged already. It's screwed up. Hold on one second. I gotta redo that. There we go. 
and it should be up. Sorry about that, guys. And once it pops up again, there you go, exclamation mark raffle. So this is what the normal pocket viper looks like. This is the one that I spent some time today on making aesthetically pleasing. So that is exclamation mark raffle to win that. And you'll be able to pick it up at the castle tonight. And yes, that is gold on it. Gold, carbon fiber, and polished dark red steel. She is sleek, she is sexy, and she is a statement. And I just and I died. We need a gold train to match it. Just saying. A gold train. The golden choo-choo. And do oh, not... Huh? That's annoying, I just died. Oh, why'd you do that? I didn't think I landed that hard, but it killed me. How derm. Deuce, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream tonight. AD bounce. So we are waiting on the person who wrecked, which I feel really horrible about, whether he believes it or not. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll be right there. I do actually feel really bad that you wrecked. Yeah, it was one of those things, you know, uh, when, when you like... It doesn't seem like you should have died, because you yeah. really didn't hit that hard, but the game decides to kill you. It's sort of like one of those. I should really hate that. <laughs> it's like, okay. I didn't die! No, wait, I did die. Damn it! It's like, but why? Why did I die? I should not have died. Almost one quarter of the way towards a switchblade, uh, switchblade blueprint. Oh, oh, oh! 
giving you Avenger vibes. Avenger vibes. Okay, I'm um, wait. Avenger what? I don't know. You Avenger. You broader. No, Fjord said. Okay, let's see. What does he got here? Quad type 60. Oh, from Cyberpunk. I have not played that game. Okay, I need a crash test. I mean, a test pilot. <laughs> I have to call somebody a dummy. I don't know what you're talking about. Call people a dummy. I would almost always, I mean, never do something like that. Almost always never. <laughs> so I saw somebody the other day that had taken a bunch of these steel plates and literally wrapped his entire ship in like 20 layers of the steel plates. Okay, what? PvP. If you have the element handling, it makes sense. I've also seen uh, the fuel gate or the, the excess door. Yeah. yeah. Someone used those as well. Wowza. There we go. We'll put that on the roof. How's that? That way you're cruising along and you're feeling froggy. That looks perfectly normal. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out something I can use for that front grill. Can make it have a gold grill and, and make it the wrapper edition. <laughs> okay, I do need to put a couple space brakes on here. I am realizing more and more that people appreciate at least one space break on these little fast ships. Ah, it's a conspiracy. Those people spend too much time with their head in the clouds. I think that's part of the problem. That's what I just said. Aren't you listening to me? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to put at least one space break on there. Just kind of... Ha 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 these dad jokes. <laughs> No, the armored windows are too small. I tried.
Why did they call uh, Darth Vader Lord instead of Master? I don't know. Why do they call Darth Vader Lord instead of Master? Because uh, calling him uh, Master Vader made all the stormtroopers giggle. <laughs> uh, 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 that's pretty good. <laughs> that one's for my wife. Happy May 4th, she said. <laughs> well, tell her thank you. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's right. It is going to be May. It is May 4th right now. I completely forgot about that. How dare you. I know, my nerd card. That's all right. Uh, my father-in-law uh, kept trying to do the, uh, oh, I'm going to have to take your man card. And I was like, why? Do you want to see what one looks like? Why would he have to take your man card? Oh, I don't know. You know, just you just just messing around. Like, oh, I'm gonna have to take your man card. Oh, okay. And I was like, yeah. Well, you will you want to see what one looks like? You know, by the look of this damage, you'd have thought I'd just plowed face first into the tarmac. Was it that bad? Really was. The amount of damage was not uh, commensurate with the impact. Really? That's crazy. I mean, from my view, it looked like I just barely tapped to the ground. And uh -huh. this looks like I just lawn darted. Ouch. As long as you can speak Elvish, you can keep the card. Wait, wouldn't Dwarven be more of an appropriate one? That's more manly. That Klingon. Ha, yeah, Klingon. You know, my dad used to be able to speak fluent Klingon. The dude couldn't tell you what day of the week it was because he was so messed up on crap, but he could tell you how he could tell you how to find the restroom in Klingon. Yeah, I guess we all have our aspirations. Okay, so the body is looking pretty good. We're waiting, well, and there's no rush whenever you get them. Just waiting on the adjusters, and... I got him. I just gotta get there. That's what I said. You, I mean, it's, no, it's not like I'm trying, I didn't want you to think I was, like, making that comment trying to get you to rush, you know. I'm just about repaired here. Because I definitely appreciate you making the trip to get them. I was going anyway. So no big deal. District 6 is the bane of my existence. That and the spaceport. My computer How's... just can't handle it. How did the cleanup go? I haven't been there in a while. Yeah, what cleanup? Oh, they didn't really do much? Ah, mm jeez. -mm. Oh, ah, jeez, Rick. You know what helps when you're hopping in a ship for the first time to check and see how well it hovers? Actually putting hovers on the damn thing. What about gas? It's full of gas. It has the gas assists. nervous about my video card what happened it keeps uh, doing this white flash like the screen flashes white 
Well, that would definitely be a good reason to be nervous about it. Yeah. But she says you can't get video cards right now. That would suck. Trust me, it sucks. <laughs> I'm actually experiencing the same thing right now. Not the white flesh is the lack of a video card. What, what are you playing on? A 690. It's doing alright. Yeah, I just can't go near any populated areas. And let's just say that I did some tweaking and the computer is relying primarily on my system RAM. <laughs> Right of the page table. Say again? The virtual memory page tables. Oh, I don't know. I have a friend that's really good at that stuff, so he came over and him and I went through a bunch of crap and he basically lied to the GPU and told it to use the on the system the system memory on a desktop. Instead of the RAM on the actual GPU. So, technically speaking, he made it do things it wasn't supposed to do. And I'm not exactly sure how he did it. And I would be lying if I said I did. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, technically we overclocked it. Well, it's the... G uh, hold on, I'll put the link to the one it is. Okay, so this is the card that I'm using right now. And this is the card I was using before it died. Just to remind everybody the current giveaway is for the special edition pocket viper over there, the gold one. I'm giving that away tokenized tonight, so exclamation mark raffle to get in on that, okay, y'all? But yeah, the top link is the one I have now, and the bottom link is the one that died on me. There we go. Let's see who won. Biggin! Biggin Germans, you won, buddy. I do hope you Big are still here. Man. Big ginger man. Big ginger man? 
Big and German? Okay. Yep. Big Ginger Man. Okay, Big Ginger Man, you won. Apologies. I suck at names. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I just heard myself come back okay, at me. So. Oh, I just heard myself. Why did it unmute my stream? What the hell? What the hell, Bobby? Damn it, Bobby. Okay, so. This is the location. Come on down to the castle. It's on Alioth, and I will hand that over to you. Big ginger mans. Big ginger mans. Big ginger mans. <laughs> I will get the name right. I swear. He's ginger's a cool guy. Awesome, 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 awesome. But yeah, Ginger, stop by the castle, dude, and I'll hook you up with the ship, okay? And remember, Ginger, this is a one, a one of a kind. Nobody else will have it. So you can fly it in style and feel like you're looking sexy, because nobody else will have one like it. And tonight's stream is definitely not brought to you by Mountain Dew. Who knows, maybe one day I'll get enough uh, viewers and followers I can actually get sponsors. That would be crazy. You gotta have a lot of people to be doing that, though. Get a beef jerky sponsor. <laughs> I know I could get a beer sponsor. Actually, I probably could get Universal Studios to sponsor me. I know those people. Okay. So right now, we are working on adjusters. What would you call the Mountain Dew Chewbacca? Mountain Dew Code Blue? What? I am so confused. Okay, guys, my brain ain't all here yet, so don't be going too hardcore on me. I can't handle that, Miz. Is the sun coming up? At the mountain? It's going down. Going down? Soon. Yes, very soon. Going down. Down, down, down. That ring of fire. I did have Taco Bell today. I definitely want to be a burning ring of fire. saw this uh, meme and it was all these different uh, you know pictures of people walking away from explosions uh -huh. and uh, you know it's like you know when you're you know when you coolly walk away as everything you know when you cool coolly walk away from all the devastation behind you and then the last picture was a guy walking away from a Taco Bell bathroom mm -hmm. ah, truth there's some public restrooms you just don't go into. 
I think Taco Bell is one you run into. I think he was the one that did the destruction. I don't eat at fast food places because I am allergic to gluten. So it yeah. makes me feel sick. So Gotcha. Can't. We are... Right now, we're just waiting on the brakes, dude. So when you get those here, I will finish the ship. Yep, yep. About to head out. No worries. Thank you very much, buddy. Okay, guys, what do you think about the new ship design? We're going to have some more breaks up under here once they arrive. But other than that, that is her. Is he going all gangster? What do you mean? I don't know. It looks like one of those uh, you know, big, long Lincolns, you know, like the gangsters, but they throw the dead bodies in the trunk. Code blue is a medical emergency such as cardiac or respiratory. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not too safe. You're good. Definitely not too safe. I come to think of it, I did hear that term this past weekend, so I should have known that. In relationship to yourself? Yes. Did you try to die on us? Uh, I don't know if you'd say that. I did have a minor event. And that is my story, and I'm sticking to it, damn it. Not looking good. I was hoping to add a little bit more lift, but honestly, with this size of a ship, four small wings should be more than enough. Oh, I could to technically do that. Alright, I'm locking you. Uh oh. Did I do something bad? That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Just got help her. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat>
Do a little ad in DU Global Chat. Come hang out in the stream. I'm giving away stuff. A nano pack optimization level three, huh? I'm actually afraid to look at. Oh, Lord have mercy. Apparently, I only have 19% fuel left. That's all right. I'll get there. I got extra fuel here I can hook you up with. Okay, guys. We got another Steam game going up right now. The next Steam game is going to be Star Control Origins. Which I will post the link for the steam thing in channel hold on one second that is up right now all you gotta do is exclamation mark raffle to get in on that and that is the game star control origins so exclamation mark raffle to get in on that Can it do it? Nope. Needs more adjusters. On my way. Fifty nine out. Oh, I'm about to hop out of the ship. Wow. I'm down below. So we're giving away a Steam game code right now, exclamation mark raffle to get in on the giveaway in chat. Make sure you guys hit that up. Have hey, you ever seen three amigos? How do you tell if something's a male plane? A what? A male plane. How do you tell if it's a male plane? I don't know. I thought you, saw, you said you saw three amigos. It's been a long time. <laughs> I am 30 away from you and I am flying at 1700 kilometers per hour. Wait, wait, Bruce, did you get that reference? Please tell me somebody got the reference and saw what I did. Yeah, you put balls underneath. Yeah, and okay, in Three Amigos there's a scene where there's a plane flying overhead. And Martin Short looks up and he's like, it's a mail plane. Well, how do you know it's a mail plane? He's like, well, I flew one in this and this and this movie. And he's like, he's like well, yeah, but how do you know it's a mail plane? He's like, well, see those two little balls? <laughs> and they all start cracking up in the scene, like in the movie. There's this whole big long joke about, you know, the two little balls in the mail plane. It's a mail plane. Star Origin is actually a really good game, guys. So if you don't have it in your collection, enter to win. Yeah, he did. He, he Martin Short was always he was a king at that dramatic pause and timing. Like Awesome. But but he always he always had a really good sense of that comedic timing. And that's one thing that a lot of comedians now are missing. I mean there's a few that have gotten it down good, but he was one that just 
you know, dude had it. And there was no way to argue that. Hey buddy, just send me a DM on how much I owe you. I see you here. Hi resource. Whoa, hello. You landed. Roger that. Oh. I'll just accept yours. Oh, hold on. Did what you always do. Oh. You didn't expect for me to fly in here with the X Wing? <laughs> nope. I didn't expect you to fly in here and me not even realize you flew in here. That's what you call some skills, man. Skills. Yep. No, wrong button. Come on, you you played Eve. You should be used to typing zeros. No comment. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Mm -hmm. Now let's finish this bad boy up. We got small adjusters, and we got brakes. Apparently we got a bad case of the hearts, but that's okay. That's besides the point. Yeah, I flew over top of you and landed behind you and turned myself around and you didn't even notice. I can believe it. I never said I was all that much here today, so... Hi! Bye safe! Thank you for the delivery! For those of you who do not know, I like brakes. They cannot lie. If you ever fly one of my ships, you will notice they stop exceedingly well. There is a reason for this. I do not like not being able to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this one. There we go. Last time to give her a test out.
Well, it's definitely one way to get around. So I'm not even doing anything. It's got enough upward that it's doing this on its own. Yeah, she handles. Woohoo. Now I just need somebody with level 5 engine skills to come boost her. Okay, so she takes a little bit of a second to stop, but not bad. I am 13 days out from that. Ooh. Okay, so now I just need her boost of level 5 engine skills, and we can get a good test of how well she runs. Oh, man. She got me while I was there. Oh, you had level 5 boost? Yeah. I didn't know you had level 5 boost. Where are you at? I'll come to you. Uh, going back to my place. You can just target lock me. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Because you got a friend in me. Oh, I got somebody. There we go. Rock player. Also, anybody that wants to, you're always welcome to add me in game. Okay? The name is Serapis, just like it is in stream. Hey, are you near the spaceport? Yeah. Oof. Okay, let's see how this does. At the spaceport, but near it. Okay. So you're gonna end up flying over top of it. I wonder if that, how that's gonna be for you. We'll see. I'm gonna go up to around 3,500, 3,600, so I can reduce fuel usage and and not look at the ground. Yep. I didn't sure. get any more. I didn't get any more gas, so I flew home at forty-five hundred. <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Crap! I forgot. I was just like, oh well, I just you know, forty-five hundred. I got like two hours worth of fuel, so. flying around like this. It's so pretty.
There we go. Let's get that speed up there and we're on our way. Okay, so, Ginger, if you come by the castle, I'll be right back there, okay, to give you the ship. I do hope Ginger knows to come to the castle. Big Ginger Man, if you're there, let me know. Okay, Alucard, let him know. I'll be right back. I'm just going to get the ship boosted, okay? Just tell him to hang out there and look around if he wants to, and I'll be back quickly. Um, hold on, let me get the coordinates. So apparently, eighteen hundred is where I start seeing red, but there's no damage, so I'm gonna keep going. Wow, I almost hit that. Whatever the hell that was. Oh, oh ow. Yeah, stagger. Crash. Boom. Don't look at the spaceport. <laughs> there's a, on the left hand side, there's an opening. I can barely even move. Hold on. Set the permission on it. Okay. I'm gonna go in there and uh, see a large core hauler I'm working on. Sure, I'd be happy to. I just just got the inside bits that I'm starting to throw together. Gives people an idea of, you know, sort of how this stuff sort of comes together. Hey, right, once let me just make sure I have you on that. I think I do, but I want to be certain. Okay. I do not. Well, I just added the role, so you might have to update. You are on there on resource. Is there a different character? Nope. Okay, so just refresh your rights. You should have rights on it. You have trees. I love your little ring lights. Yeah, I, I, use, I just drag them around and put them <laughs> where I need them. Okay, so is this it that I'm looking at in the middle of the floor here? Hey, I go around to the back. There's a there's a stairwell. So are you working on the interior and not the exterior right now? Yep, interior first. Making sure I, I, I got all the numbers figured out. Oh, that's... Yeah, well, go, go up the middle. There's a middle stairwell. No, oh, whatever. Oh, now that's sexy. Look at that. Yeah, that's shiny too. You know what this feels like? The interior from, um... Oh, crap. Now my brain went blank. The one with the guy, Tim the Toolman Taylor, that played him, that he was, uh... He was, uh... Kind of like a sci-fi version of Star Trek, where they were... Space Odyssey, or... What is it called? Galaxy Quest! Thank you, Bruce! That! It reminds me of the Galaxy Quest interior. 
So those metal stairs go down to like the engineering area, or you know where you can ah, repair okay. all the engines and all that crap. Looking good, looking good, man. Looking really good. But just starting to get the interior flow going, and then uh, once I once I like the way it feels on the inside, then I'll make it look cool on the outside. That's a lot of space thrust. Yeah. Did you boost her? Yep. Oh, well, let's see who won. Snoochie, you won the game, buddy. Oh, Snoochie. Oh, Snoochie, Snoochie. Let's send a Mr. Snoochie. Wait, I know I have Snoochie. Snoochie, could you send me a message in Discord? I know I have you in Discord. I just don't remember what your Discord name is. Dude, that's looking really good on the inside. I can't wait to see the outside of it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no what? Uh, Ginger's, uh, internet just chat. Oh. He went all robot in Discord. Snoochie, if you're still there, let me know, brother. Oh, there you are. Okay, I found you. Snoochie, I sent you the link to the game you won, buddy. I gotta head back to the castle, but dude, that's looking amazing. Love your shop here. It's so spacious. How many cores is this? Six. That's a lot of cores. And my god, that's a hell of voxel library. Yeah. I've been collecting for a while. Collecting and adding, and collecting and adding. Noticeably. Looking good though, dude. Ships are looking awesome. I see you got a little showroom going on over here on the tower. Oh yeah, that's my museum of ships. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Uh, I was thinking about doing uh, platforms when we when we build our museum. Gotcha. And having sort of like an outdoor ship museum, outside the indoor art museum. Hey, I recognize this ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go open the museum. There's, it's open. You'll, you'll notice some other ships of yours in there. Uh oh. I, I want them on. I want to put them on platforms though, because uh, I want to be able to fly them. They're really hard to get in and out of the building, which is annoying. Look at all the ships. Oh, there's a cop car. A DeLorean, a train. There's a Dank Knight ship. You got a lot of ships up in here. Wow. You got a whole lot of ships up in here. That's just the first floor. Go to the next one. <laughs> Garbage. Those, those are a little extra small ones. Little ones. Act natural is a cop car. Space, dude, you have a good night, brother. Be safe and take care, my friend. Yeah, take care. Catch you later. Airplanes. I like you this floor. Oh, Cobra Transport. I like you this floor. Nothing up here. Big ship on roof. I've seen this ship a few times. I like this ship a lot. Yeah, that's the stainless steel blue intake. There's only uh, five left. Ah. Geronimo!
Okay, so here we go. I want to see how bad the damage is on this thing now. Why are all my engines not working? Oh, come on in a minute. It's the, new, the newest bug. There we go, now they're all on. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell the difference in the acceleration there. Dickar, what's up? Uh, Alucard, just tell... Um, ask Ginger if he could send a uh, message in Steam and sa uh, stream saying that, and that's no problem. Hello. Oh, yeah, this thing's accelerating real quick here. Let's see. Dude, the boost on this is beautiful. They always are, aren't they? It looks like I can travel at 1900 without blowing up. Oh, yeah. Um, so the other thing that I have is I have max uh, on the hit points, element hit points. Uh-huh means your elements can take a lot more heat before they damage. Nice. Okay, uh, yeah, Alucard, that's fine. Go ahead and send Zerst over and I'll do that. I trust you, bud. You're good. Now, this is definitely one way to get around Alioth real quick. This little ship is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this thing. Does anybody here remember the original Heavy Metal animated movie? out in like the early 90s or something no that was heavy metal 2 the original one came out a lot longer than that hold on isn't there like tank dog or something 81 1981 there was an opening scene for that movie where the guy is in space and he's at the shuttle and then he hops in his classic corvette and rides the classic Corvette into orbit as it's burning up and he's got smoke and char all around it crap and he lands in the field with the parachute and drives off to home. That's what this makes me think of every time I do this. It's like I just need some classic heavy metal ra raging right now, you know? Looks like a boost boost to the brakes too. I'm getting really close to having everything at level five. I 
I went AFK and came back a wiener. <laughs> I thought you left a wiener, man. I mean, you went a winner, a winner. Okay, yeah. Wait, whose ship is this? So he made it all the way here and died, huh? Okay, let's make sure this ship is fueled up. All the way to the steps. Well, I hope he enjoys, because this is definitely a one-of-a-kind. I will not be making another one in this pattern. Uh, bruise, it has to do with... Hold on, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so when you go in build mode on a ship, you go right here, atmospheric flight engineer, cross-section. The smaller these numbers are, the better. You get those, the lower you get those numbers, the, the higher your threshold is for burning up. So, I mean, this ship can go 1800, and you see how tiny it is. The front causal section is 4.25 meters. Vertical is 27.8. Lateral is 11.8. So that's a pretty tiny setup. Yeah, the frontal cross section at 4.25 right there. So yeah, the smaller you get that frontal cross section, the less likely it is to burn up on you. Yep. Okay, ladies and gents, how do you guys feel about the new pocket cruiser? Looks cool. Did I keep her streamlined enough for everybody? Now I'm wondering what it will look like in gold. Let's see. Solid gold. You get rid of that, because that's going to irritate me. That looks very high end. Like, I don't feel like I should be flying it now. <laughs> Needs a remote controller. Okay, so we're waiting on Zerst at the castle.
Gotcha, gotcha. No problem, Zerst. Now, I do have a rule about only saying this once a night. <laughs> but I only I only do this once a night, so this is my once a night for you guys. Um, just a reminder, right now, my wife and I are in the middle of moving. We are trying to make sure we get the house safe for the kids. We have two severe autistic children. So this is all the money that goes to that. And I'm not taking donations in the stream anymore. Everything is going to that. Because apparently uh, Streamlabs is having issues with that. But everything that goes to that goes towards making the new house safe for the kids. Which includes... Uh, Special locks in all the cabinets, um, locks on the gates, security cameras, floodlights, special locks on the doors, windows, sensors for the doors and windows. There's a lot of stuff to do. So everything that goes to that GoFundMe goes to the kids and their safety. Oh! Hello, Space. Thank you, bud. And that is 10 Tier 1 subscriptions. Do I accept crypto? I do not know. I have never dealt with crypto. Yeah, I have never dealt with crypto, dude. Spaceman, thank you so much, brother. The last time I dealt with crypto was right after um, Bitcoin first came out. And I had like 3,000 Bitcoin on a uh, drive at home and my roommate stole it. And I have not dealt with it since. Oh man, 3,000 bitcoins. This is yeah. a hell of a money. Oh, trust me, the, 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 the longer it goes and the more valuable it gets, every time I see him, I just want to punch him in the face. No problem, Grabby. But yeah, that the link above is the uh, GoFundMe for the house. Everything that goes to that goes to making the house safe for the kids. And it all goes to my wife's account, so. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I don't have the capability to keep up with the trends, and I tried doing that kind of stuff for a little while, and I kept missing it and losing money, so I just kind of stepped away because I got too much crap going on right now to try to, um, try to keep up with it. Oh, yeah, I know it is. I've got a lot of people that are making money in it, but you have to really pay attention to it. And I have a really bad habit of missing it a lot. <laughs> like, a whole lot. Lordy, it's still going. It's still going. Mystic Dill. Okay, Mystic Dill's the last one, I think. Spaceman Brother, thank you so much for those gifted subs. Wait, Mythic, there's no profit product? Huh? I am so confused. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, that was actually the reason why I was in the hospital over the weekend. I found out that the um, closing costs went up by two grand. And that kind of freaked me out. Between that and everything else going on with the house and everything, just the stress got to me and my blood pressure spiked and I ended up not doing too well to say the least. Okay, so we do not have any giveaways going on right now. And I cannot find... I gotta get... I gotta figure out which, where those uh, time codes went for... I'm gonna have to give away the time code tomorrow night. But we do have more games to give away tomorrow night too. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Yep.
Oh, and the other reason why I'm doing the GoFundMe is because it allows you to do it anonymously. So it's not public that you, uh... Because some people don't like things like that to be public. If some people want to help out, they want to help out and just kind of, you know, be cool about it and lay low. And you ha I have to respect that, you know. Hey, there's a Zerst coming in from above. Hello, Zersty. Oh, he's so Zersty. I am Zersty. Porky, what are you doing? What's up, Porky, doing? Hey, Harry. Harry, you want to come say hi to everybody? Harry, Harry wants to. Harry, Harry wants to say hi to everybody. Say hi, Harry. That's my buddy. Okay, bye, Harry. I know. What's wrong, buddy? You okay? Oh, it's my bye bye. What's wrong with the babies? Oh, there's a pickle. Now we got a cat. Everybody calls him Zersty. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Zerst, we're on the west side of the castle, bud. You want to come say hi, Mr. Kitty? Come on, Mr. Pickles. Come on. Pickles. Oh, there's Harry. Harry wants to come back. He wants more attention. Harry always likes attention. Yep, I'm my buddy. That's my buddy. And there's the kitty. Oh, God, we got pet love coming from everywhere now. What is going on here? I just got swarmed. Hello, Mr. Pickle. Thirsty, thirsty. <laughs> okay, guys, Mr. Pickle says hello. I'd like you all to meet Mr. Pickles. Cat tax. It's a four leg sword. Hello, Mr. Pickles. Oh. He's getting his head scrubbed. That's his favorite thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You do know I'm in the middle of something here, right? Yeah, I'm in the middle of something. Come on. Okay, Zerst. Advanced. Tokenize. Yeah, pretty much bruised, you're right. Thanks for the love, now smell my butt. You know, it's funny. I did not realize how many memes there were in regards to cat butts and how many affectionate craft things there were. People, women, like, women had hats and shirts with a little sketch drawing of a cat in their butt, like a little star for their butt. It's like, that is not right. I mean... This this is not okay. <laughs> okay, make sure you claim the keys or do it for your org or whatever. There you go. <laughs> yep, 
You have fun now, Mr. Zerst. Hit control to let your brake off. Toodles. And he's off. I actually had somebody yesterday ask me if I was using pre-copied and pasted thank yous on the GoFundMe and I'm like, why would you even do that? It takes two seconds to write somebody a personal thank you. I can't see a reason in doing a, a copy-paste thank you. So yeah, if you get a thank you from me on GoFundMe, I actually typed every one of those out. I did not copy and paste anything. You know, the whole two seconds it takes. Actually, I'm kind of liking the new pocket chip. It's a lot more streamlined as far as narrow than the other one. It probably fit in a lot tighter spaces, too. Wow, I just said that on stream. That's what she said. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit longer. But it's not as wide. I mean, <laughs> I'm digging myself a hole here. <laughs> hey, I'm hoping Ginger uses this one for a long time, man. That, that would actually make me very proud to know that people enjoy the pocket wiper that much. That's <laughs> yeah, I need more sleep because everything's sounding perverted now. Do you like to play with your pocket viper? Thank God the stream is marked as mature audience. I'm actually really enjoying this one. You know, thinking about it, if done right and it's swapped out, this would make a really cool hover racer too. Took got rid of all the wings. Balance things out a little bit. Yeah, it'd make a really good hover racer. You could even short take out the decorative elements and shorten the hut the nose down. Because yes, you could actually take bring it off down to here, shorten it down to here. That make a really sleek looking racer. That's what we need to do. We need to do a racing league. That's kinda of like NASCAR to where say like I give everybody these voxels. And you can kit it out with certain gear, however you want, and do minor adjustments like they allow NASCAR to do. But everybody's in the same ship, so it's based on the pilot's skills and the pilot's ability to actually fly the ship. Now that would be fun. Because it gets to a point in the other races, that's the reason why I don't do the other races. Because it depends on whether or not you can afford the biggest, baddest engine. I 
Or here's something big. I hear something big, but I don't see nothing big. Yeah, but you can't fly when you're in VR. I mean, if you guys are interested in me doing that, I'd be more than happy to set it up, because I can't race, so I would definitely be a neutral party. I could give everybody these ships and allow you to modify them and adjust things how you want. You can do your colors on them, so everybody have different color cars, put your numbers on them or whatever you want, and we could do a race. We could have a lot of fun with it. It's real easy to change the colors. But yeah, that's something you guys were interested in. That's something I could definitely make happen. And I would be more than happy to. So you guys just let me know. And I'll do it. We will do a formal racing league. And if I got to, I will pocket supply every one of the ships. Or I can just give everybody a blueprint for these. Okay. I got a buddy of mine who's really big into NASCAR. Like, I mean, the dude probably knows more about NASCAR than the officials know about NASCAR, okay? So I'll get him to help me, and we can actually do this right. Like, we can set up pit crew requirements and everything. So you can have a pit crew to come in, have you put, be able to pull in, get yourself fueled up, and get your uh, ship repaired. What do you guys in the stream think in chat think about that in voice? Resource, meager? Oh, I have no uh, no clue about NASCAR. <laughs> what do you think, Alucard? Would oh, this make a good no. racer? We could always do these. I mean, um, the size of the engines automatically really hard um, restrict the max speed so like s engines have always a pretty low um, max speed okay so we can do this one for circuit racing because i think this one will be really good for circuit racing and do this one for drag strips And I would be more than happy to contribute blueprints, and everybody just has to do the blueprints. Do your blueprint, get your ship boosted to level 5, and you're solid. And then do a custom paint job on it. Now, if you want to swap out your materials for something lighter, you can do that too. But that's entirely on you. Actually, I have a different idea, a modification of this one that I might do that would be better for racing, slightly different. Okay. 
Then let's do it, guys. And Spaceman, I thought you were going to bed, brother. Okay, so anybody in stream, if you're interested in getting in on that racing circuit using these two ships and actually doing a hardcore, legitimate, circuited race to where there's prizes, it's organized, and it's set, like, I mean, done properly, send me a DM in Discord or post it. Actually, let's do this. Join this Discord. In that Discord, you'll find a chat, chat channel named Serapis. Post in there if you're interested in doing on it. We'll you start using that channel to discuss it. That's that, that channel to discuss the races, and we'll use that for a planning channel. Okay. So make sure you guys do that. Okay. Yeah, but you, once you're in that Discord, you scroll down to the streamers section, you'll see a chat channel with my name on it. Just post in there. And we'll start getting this organized, okay? But if you guys want me to be like, you know, a serious circuit style and be, you know, strict about this, I will be. And we'll make this a legitimate racing circuit. I was actually thinking about doing a racing track that goes through the castle. Goes through and around the castle. Ooh, that would be kind of fun. I could even have it where it goes over the top of the roof up here. And you have to, and you, uh, there's jumps and crap. Okay, yeah, now my brain's working. You guys done what and did that. Why you gotta do that? Now my brain's gonna start working. I see a Zerse running around. That would be fun. Where you have to basically cruise off here and land and keep going. Boom. Okay. So we're going to do this. Also, if you know anybody who has a good racing track. Ha 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 I haven't taken my medication for the night yet, so it's still doing okay. Okay, let's see who is streaming DU tonight, because I like to support those DU love peoples. Show some DU love. And it's been a while since I've gotten to actually do him, so we're going to raid Angry Dad tonight. I never get to raid Angry Dad. He always raids me. Yeah, I'm still chugging along then. However, I'm about to be getting off here, taking my medicine, and passing the hell out, that's for sure. So for all of you tonight that came to hang out with me, you have no idea how much I appreciate it, spending your evening with me. Uh, the, the subscriptions, the GoFundMe donations for the house, for the kids, it means a lot to me. You guys are amazing, and I have an amazing set of viewers. So let's go ahead and do this raid. If you guys enjoyed the stream and you haven't already, hit that follow button. If you really liked it, hit the sub button. I'll be back tomorrow night. And remember, I'm here every night, but Friday nights and Monday nights. So y'all have a great night. Be safe. Let's do this raid and show Angry Dad some love, y'all. Everybody in Discord, say good night. Did they all leave me already? I think they left me already. <laughs> good night, y'all. And... And like the variety streamers, some of the top streamers will do it and play it in the whole sitting.